Welcome everybody. Bit of everybody's golf on a Sunday evening. We're going to just go through, play a few open courses, chill out a bit, play some golf. Nothing fancy, nothing hardcore. We'll start with Eagle City out. Long tees, tornado cups, normal wind. Hope everybody's had a nice weekend. Chilled out on a Sunday night. I just fancy playing a bit of everybody's golf for an hour or so. So I thought, what the heck. Might as well do it on stream. <clears throat> One thing I do wish that improve is the loading times. It can be quite frustrating sometimes, just waiting for the course to load. It's 2018 people. Can we not figure out how to stream a golf course? I don't know. I mean, even PUBG loads in quicker than everybody's golf. PUBG. The least optimised software on the planet. <coughs> However, I don't wish to cash dispersions on the developers. This is a very fine golf game. <coughs> okay. So, Eagle City out. Let's get over to the first. We're going to use the custom clubs because, you know. Ah, it's lucky chance as well. Well, there you go. Fate right there, ladies and gentlemen. I don't want to play one. It's just. It's a path. Why are defaults to one hole when you're on the um, on the first tee? beyond me. It's a par four. Okay, so par four. Little bit of headwind. But nothing massive. Uh, 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 okay. Ah, uh, that was alright. That's always the way. It's just trying to pinch that corner. Okay. Time for a little bit of chip and run to Tornado Cup, so the trick is just to give the cup the opportunity to take it off your hands. Because the best part is that one you don't make. Yeah, good job. In you go, sunshine. Yeah, I see the loading times. Oh, I was expecting they'd patch it out, because I can't believe how much data it's loading. I mean I don't know what the RAM is on a PS4, but I don't know what it's doing. I assume it's shuffling something about on the disc. And setting something up, but yeah, I don't get it. Okay, second hole. <clears throat> Not a lot of wind to deal with. Again, we can drive this one. Let's see if we can pinch it around the corner. The old three wood. Yeah, I just can't get it left enough. No matter. We'll play the old chip and run game. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, nice eagle. It's a two chipping eagles to start. I wish I was impressed, but I'm really not. If they played a tournament with Tornado Cups, I think it could be... Um, it could be moderately entertaining because it just wouldn't split the competitors at all. You'd end up with everybody on the same score. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. <clears throat> ah, long T skip's not on, is it? Ah, just click the bridge. I'll play over here. It's a bit rubbish. I need to get... These are level 21 clubs. I need level 25, really. But recycling your clubs and powering them up. And grinding for gems. Yeah, it's not a lot of fun. So, 97 to go. Um, how much is that going to move in the wind? It's not on approach. 
backspin. We've got the backspin, but the line's probably not good. You know you want to. Oh! Ha <laughs> ha Eagle Eagle Albatross. What a comedy course when it's Tornado Cups and you have level 21 clubs. That's in the hole. Yeah, I see. I, I don't... Uh, they didn't publish the club skill things last time. They did it when the qualifier started. Um, I assume they'll do it again. They'll lock the club and the skill. I doubt they're going to let you use customs because then it just becomes a pay-to-win game, doesn't it? If you've um, spent enough money to get yourself those level 25 power clubs, you're at an advantage. Whereas if they give you... And I think they'll give you a decent set of clubs. I think it's a fairer contest. So I don't think they will let you use customs. I might be wrong. Ugh, just don't run off into the rough. Ugh. But then... It, it's a slightly more difficult course as well. So it'll be interesting to see what they do to, to deal with that. So I think in the first game everyone just got standard skill. And kind of base level clubs. And they gave us better clubs last time. I assume they'll go for the better clubs again. Um, and maybe even give you, you know, some decent power clubs. But I think, I don't think they'll do customs. I think they'll leave it locked. Uh, that's a ridiculous start. So, um, um, I, oh, you can show how many putts you've done, can't you, somehow? There you go. Look at that. Nope. No putts. <laughs> Okay, par five. It's a par five. Um, mm, mm, mm. I can play up there. Providing I don't hit that bunker or that massive tree in the way. Uh, we'll play over here. We'll play water skip because I like a good water skip. Come on. <laughs> Thanks, I see. Not a bad start as these things go. Get up there! Um, yeah, I'd, I'd like to see them give you kind of the spin clubs or something. So don't give you just standard clubs. But yeah, big air. Or give you infinity clubs. That'll be make it really hard. They're really properly hard to um, to set the power on. That would test your um, your perfect impact skill. Ah! Fly up. I fear my albatross. Oh, jeez. There you go, see, you say I have a great start and I'm in a bunker. Alright, this is recoverable. This is recoverable. So it's gonna kick right, it's plugged. Ugh, right, come on. Get out of the hole. Oh, you know you want to. Ah, not quite. Nice! Go for the birdie! A birdie, Suzuki. A birdie, you say. I'm utterly disgusted at a birdie. Oh, I've actually made a putt. Terrible. I think someone asked in the comments as well, and it was kind of interesting, as to whether they'd use um, the DLC courses for the tournaments when they get there. Because so far they've kind of cycled through the courses in the order you'd expect. But there's an opportunity there if they wanted to to um to showcase the DLC courses. Ah, miss your shot. Um, which might be quite interesting because not many people play them. I mean, I've played played them a couple of times now, and there's you know never anybody on there. Look at the gate. Missing fairways is annoying. Okay, 96 to go. How about there. Yeah, good shot. Where's that gonna go? Right, okay. Roll with it. Go for the birdie. Okay, pretty straight break. It's a tornado cup. There's genuinely no excuse for not getting this in the hole. Go on. Ooh, I've got yourself a birdie. I I think the interesting thing about the tournament this time is they've turned the turned it round. It's going to be teeny cups to start with, and then normal cups for the final. I think the final's off the long tees. 
Oh, Teeny Cup's on Blatters. That, that would be hard. Because if you don't get within about 10 foot on Blatter, it's over. You know, some of the gradient on those greens would just be ridiculous. Um, that would really separate the field. Because if you can get the ball within about 10 foot, Balata's absolutely simple as. But, you know, you start getting 12, 15 foot putts, it's incredibly hard. Get in the high oh, day. Oh, oh. He wanted to go in. I've been playing um, Namrong Bay as well, the final course. That's quite interesting with all the water. There's a fair bit of course management you've kind of got to go through. And my record's 1300 on here. Oh, it's a par four. Okay. That pin's nasty. Uh, might be able to get to it. Oh, Nietzsche! Ah, uh, not quite. Should be an easy chip, though. There we go. It's a fourteen. That's oh, a par three at the end, isn't it? Last yeah. one. Oh, yeah. man. It's a par three. Okay. Can we get a birdie? Not if we play like that. Oh, neat shot. Go on, go on, go on. <laughs> oh, neat shot. Yeah, Nam Rong is all about the side spin. Um, there's a lot of places you can kind of bend it round things and get it through gaps in rocks. Um, and the old water skip. I'll take the hole in one. I mean, that's ridiculous, isn't it? That's a ridiculous round. How many putts was that? One, two. That's three putts. You could you could do that without putting. You could for sure go around without putting. There should be a trophy for that. So 16 under. Um, I'll take it. A bit of warm up. Someone got 20. Well, I suppose, yeah, if I didn't have those three putts, I'd be 19. If I don't win daily rival for that, it's just disgraceful behaviour. That's a decent score. A new record. Greens and regulation 100. I, I, that's not really accurate. I only put the ball on the green three times. Oh, that's annoying, that yapping noise. Okay, so let's play the um, the inward nine. All right. Well, then part of me wants to go and get the um, the items on five quickly. Oh, if I don't hit that, I might just run up to five see if I can get the gems. I've been trying to build myself another set of clubs, so I've got a set of level twenties and a set of level twenty ones, but it's kind of random and you don't really know ahead of time what you're going to get. Apparently it's all predetermined so you can't kind of save and cheat. So the only way to do it is to max the clubs out to level to, to the 10th upgrade. And then you can recycle them if they're not any good. Um, or you can take them and get the 11th upgrade. Which is um, which is expensive in terms of gems. But if you play all the you can get two gems per course and if you play kind of platinum and special tournaments you'll sometimes get four or six um, gems and um, I played a turf war and got four or five gems and it's not really the coins I want I want the gems really I got one I don't know where the other one went where are you 
they're normally pretty separated. We've got the little prize box anyway. That's a ball. Where are you? There'll be a gem somewhere. Yeah, okay, novelty's worn off. I'm going to move on. So let's play the in with nine. Tornado Cups again and long tees. Uh, they've really gone easy for a Sunday on um, on Eagle City. See what we can knock down this time. The other thing I need to do as well at some point is have a serious go at getting a condor, which is why I'm building up the custom clubs. Because level twenty level twenty clearly wasn't enough. I didn't have enough to do um Alpina twelve and skip the little hut. But I think you need 25 or a tailwind at about 22 so I've got a set of level 21s but I need to kind of recycling I'm nearly tempted to buy the S tickets which kind of act like 10 gems because I think you can get there's a special offer at the moment it's about £1.60 something I think for 10 yeah and maybe I'm a level off 368. Yeah, yeah. So mine goes 364 at the moment. I'll never do that in five minutes. Uh, right, so. Eagle City in. Oh, the tenth's just annoying to get to on this. And I appreciate the RPG thing and running around, but I just want to get to the tenth hole. Okay. Nine hole round. It's a par five. 500 yards. Tiny crosswind. Let's um, give it some stick. Come on. Uh, lost a bit there. Stay. Why would you do that? Don't take your eye off the gate. Okay. So we might not go chipping eagle, chipping eagle, chipping eagle, albatross then. Oh, that's going to kick, isn't it? Get up there. Yeah. Got a putt for it, though. Okay, 16 foot putt. Tornado cups. Slightly downhill. Should be alright. That they got in a teeny cup. Oh, I haven't actually played this combination of teas and cups. So I don't have a benchmark score. Okay. So par four. Oh, again, you can nearly drive that. I'm gonna have to put a bit of um. Can you get around the left of it? I really want to come in from left to right. I'm never going to get over that tree, though. Uh, what if I get back there? I've got sort of there. What does that look like? Uh, I don't think you can do it. I hope he's going to play it that way. And now it doesn't want to play. Why do you not want to play? Right, I've got to come off and go back on. There you go. Okay. We'll just have to hit and hope a bit. Get up there. Only chop. Yeah, I see. Yeah, I think if I got a good day and the wind was in the right place, I think it's it's achievable. I haven't really had a go at it, if I'm honest. I kind of the grind for the albatrosses kind of took it out of me, <laughs> and I thought I'll wait a while. But I should I should get on with it. 
Mostly because there's a character left, isn't there? I think when you get three. And there's a trophy, so it's worth doing. That was a bit interesting. Just about got in. It's an eagle eagle start. It's a part three. I just don't like this hole. I don't know why. I find it really hard to get near the pin. Okay, so it's six yards downhill. Ah, uh, not that far downhill. That's gonna come up short. Good, good. That's on at least. Go on, go on, go, 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 go. Ah! Chance for a birdie. Nearly. Uh, five under, five under, five under. Oh, 13. It's a powerful. Okay, 13. Again, drivable. All about where you land it, I suppose. Oh, good shot. I'm going to spin on it. I'm going to better lock it will grip if I don't go in the front of the bunker. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> oh, get in the oh. hole. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, good shot. Awesome. You'll have to indulge me. I'm going to watch the replay. Blind luck. Oh, incredible. Any other time, that just races past out the back. Nailed it. 306 yard albatross. That's only fifth in the ranking. That's only fifth in the ranking. <laughs> Who the hell? What did one, two, three, and four do? Oh, they must have hit the pin. They must have done like a rising shot on the pin or something. Or got it to loop or something. I'm going to go for this because um, I always end up in the bunker here. I've got a bit of spin on it. Ah, I couldn't do it twice. Couldn't do it twice. Oh, for the eagle. We've got an eagle pup. Nice eagle. Yeah, I see. Yeah, I think there's a bit of randomness in there. Certainly, when you're using custom clubs, because you don't have the control stat on them. Um. I think it helps you out a bit sometimes as well. I think it's quite... It's forgiving, shall we say. I've noticed a few times when I've definitely missed that shot. And it, it'll bounce on when it's short or it'll check when it's long. Okay, so this is downhill. So if you look at that, that should be sort of spot on for power. Good awesome. Champion. Yeah, so it's slightly over pitched. But if you put that sort of two power short, it ends up at the same sort of spot. But there is a little bit of randomness in there. I'll take the birdie. I think the trick would be to build some set of custom clubs with a better control stat, but with a load of power. So you kind of get them up. You know, you want a set that's got a bit of grunt to them, but has a decent control stat. That's interesting. So top spin makes it... Yeah, it gives you less sway, and back spin gives you more. I could believe that. I could believe that. Okay. Again, I've got to pitch it past those rocks. <laughs> this could be tricky. Yeah, look how wide that one is there. So I've got the ultra backspin on, but you give it a, a lot more sway. See, and then it kicks left. There's no way that should kick left. The random number generator or whatever it is, is um, kind of works in your favor. Oh, I wish I could chip this, if I'm honest. Waking to the left. Okay. Again, putting on a yes. Tornado Cups is sort of pointless. 
Then again, then that was a one word, so you'd expect the sway to be pretty intense. Oh, 17. It's a par four. Okay, 17, par four. Again, I never like this. You've got this nasty little kink in the green. The question is, am I going to clip those trees if I try and curl it? I say that like I'm not going to try and curl it. Yeah, I missed the ultra spin. Yeah, good shot. Oh, that's probably going to hit that little bit of rough. Get past it. Go on, yeah. Bugger. I hate it when it does that. Water hazard. Nice of you to show me where it landed there. Good camera work. I'll take the drop. Okay. I've got to get this in the hole. Slightly uphill. Yeah, the woods, I mean, you'd expect the woods oh, to be more erratic than everything else. Get in. I can't believe it. Oh, Nietzsche. Yeah, the mechanics have always been a bit strange in this game, though. If you played the earlier, the PSP and the, even the PlayStation 1, it's always been quite a forgiving golf game. I mean, I certainly remember playing, is it Everybody's Golf 2? Um, there was definite it's a correction of your shot, shall we say. Unless you really kind of miss them. It would kind of correct out the worst flaw in there. So you could get away with some stuff that you probably shouldn't get away with. So I'm going to cut the corner. I uh, missed the ultra top spin. But again, it's meant to be a fun game, isn't it? It's not meant to be a serious simulation of the game of golf. So I suppose it's in there. Oh, that's, that's um, cheeky, is the word. So, 91 to go. Oh, a bit of wind's right in the front edge as well. Mm, let's go and have a look at the slope. Okay. we just got to hit this. Try and grip it. Uh, the PlayStation 1 games, though, I love them to bits. Because you could just pick them up and play them. You know, and you could play with... Get in the hole. Um, and you could play with people who didn't really get it as well. It had quite a nice little sort of handicap system in it as well, which I quite liked. And then I had the PSP version, which I just played to death. In fact, I've still got that. I've got a, um, a PSP emulator. It's still quite a good game. The first course... I think it's the first hole, which is kind of downhill. Once you figure out, you can skip over these rocks. You can kind of drive the green. Changes the game. So, 17 under. Two albatrosses. Bunch of eagles. How many putts? One, two, three, four, five putts. I'll take 17 under. Someone will have got 22 under. 20 under. There you go. Ranked 53 for the day. That's all right. I'll take that. All right. What will happen now is Alpine will be teeny cups or something. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, and I think that that's a good point. It is kind of very easy to get into, but when you kind of get to the high level, it is a bit. It is a bit of a challenge, which I suppose is why I still play it. There's still things to do and stuff to learn. Right. Let's go and try something else. What's the... Oh, is it Imperial Garden? We might play Imperial Garden. Um, yeah, let's play Imperial Garden. Long, normal, weak wind. Okay, that should be alright. That should be alright. Imperial Garden with wind is not fun. Actually, Imperial Garden in the rain. I do not like... What's your favourite course then, Icy? I quite like I quite like Imperial Garden just for the challenge of it. But of the DLC, I think I kind of like the latter and Namrong Bay. Green's a bit straightforward. Um, but I get why it's there. It's kind of a second beginner course. And I just... Vortex Valley, I can't get on with. It's, it's difficult in an unfair way. It's just such a punishing... As soon as you're off, it's just difficult. Whereas a lot of the other ones, you know, you can make an exceptional recovery shot and get somewhere. Vortex just seems to compound your errors. Oh, 
Although, Imperial Garden, um, you've kind of got to take your medicine sometimes on this course. Particularly those little bunkers. You've just got to accept sometimes you're not coming out. Right, so we've got 16 under on this. Holy moly. We won't be getting 16 under. Right. Oh, how much do I want to bite off? Right, we'll put a bit of spin on it, see what we can do. We've got hold of it. Cut the corner. Ah, get up there. No, in the brook, in the brook, in the brook, in the brook. <laughs> Look at the gauge closely. Oh. Okay, we're going to have to club up here. Alright, this is going to be tricky. This is what I meant about you need exceptional recovery shots. Yeah, Vortex is brutal. Good, good. Oh, that'll do. That'll do the job. Yeah, uh, that Imperial is is forgiving. I mean, that was it made me play a really good second shot there to get out of trouble. But I could play a second shot. You know, on Vortex, you just you just got no chance. You can still go for the green, although you've got to absolutely nail it. Which is probably why I like this course. It's tough, but it's fair. It's a powerful. Oh, there are just some stupid things you can do in this course, though. You just got to stop yourself doing the really stupid stuff. Oh, I did this the other day. I played down to here. I don't need the power shot. Give myself a just take those bunkers out of play because ended up on that cart track. It's not a lot of fun. Top spin on it. Yeah, see what you mean. So, ultra top spin. It's right in the middle of the club. Get up there. There we go. That'll do. Okay. 82 to go. It's a bit uphill. There's a bit of wind. What's that green doing? Mm, it's pretty flat. Okay. Just try and flop it down. Ooh. Oh, grip, 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 grip. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. Go for the birdie. Okay, pretty straightforward putt. Sloping uphill. I've got to get into the habit of thinking about putts again after those last two rounds. A birdie. Yeah, luckily on the woods, I see. I tend not to use the backspin. I'm a bit of a topspin man. Oh, they actually get longer. You sometimes need to stop it on greens. It's a powerful. Uh, three, uh, yeah, you can't do anything. This, it's a shame it's so high because you could do an interesting little skip. Like if you could get it over there, but uh, it's not going to happen. Oh, right. Now my only worry here is if I go left to right on it, that bunker, that bunker there. Oh, we just got to have a bit of faith. That's what we're going to do. Oh, got the ultra spin. Nice job. Oh, just missed it. Yeah, just run out the other side. Yeah. Look at the gate. I bit off far too much there. Okay, right, we're in the rough. It looks relatively flat. We're going to lose a bit of power, so we'll club it up to a nine. Uh, maybe a nine. You definitely don't want to be short and right. You definitely want to be short and left, if anything. Right, let's see what we can do. Oh, I missed the impact by so much. It was in the nice bit, not the nasty bit. Get on there. Oh, it's on. Okay, that's all right. That's all right. Uh, so much easier when you hit the fairways. Okay, this is going to break to start. So he's actually not going to break that much. So maybe a cup and a half, maybe two cups left. But we've got to hit it. This is the thing I always underestimate, is how much extra power you need. Uh, missing the impact didn't help. 
deep breath. Well, this is an under hit it. It's a five foot past. Get in the hole. Ah, that's a par. That'll do. Oh, the mistake there was missing the fairway. Okay. I do not like this hole. I do not get on with this hole. This hole does not like me. Look where that pin is. So what the designer wants you to do here is make one of two mistakes. Mistake one is to attack the pin and go right past it and just not grip and it goes in the water. Um, and mistake two is not reading the wind properly and just rolling off into the water there. I've done both of these things. So it's downhill, so you've got to club it back as well. So you've got to knock, knock the socks off it. Oh, and hit the spin. Great shot. Yeah, it was much too short in the end. Yeah, I've started to try and miss the... That wasn't a deliberate impact miss on the putt, but sometimes it helps. Um, oh, God, I hate downhill putts. That's probably the... Yeah, you can kind of deliberately miss it. Particularly if you want a slow putt. Get in the hole. If you want a slow putt, missing it seems to hit it just slightly softer. Okay, we've got out of four alive, which is always a good thing. It's a powerful. Okay. This is the split fairway one. Oh, see, when you've got this length of club, you're massively tempted to go straight up the throat of that. But you've got no choice, because otherwise you've got to lay up there, which is the sensible play. I mean, that is what you should do. You should not do this. Um, but, you know... We say one thing, we do another. And this is where backspin will hurt us. Because you want a bit of backspin to check it. Oh, it kicks right, doesn't it? And I know it kicks right. But hey, we're 25 yards away. We can get this in. So that's a mistake, but not a horrible one. So it's going to run right when it gets out. It's going to kick right. And the wind's to the right. Okay. Go on, go on. You know, you want to. Get in the... Oh. Ah. Ah. I'll take the birdie, but I'd have liked the eagle there. I'd have liked the eagle. Any putt under a fur noise you. It's a par five. Yeah, I think, and it's the RNG. I think it knows it wants to go right. Not that I'm paranoid. Um, again, I think I've got the club. I don't need the water skip at this point. But what we might do is do a little bit of um, of right to left on it. Not ultra, just a bit, just to kind of straighten it up. So we don't run out the side. A bit like that. Yeah, you can see how I'm lacking the club there. I haven't quite got enough length to get up with those guys. So it's going to kick a fraction right. The wind's going to bring it back. Oh, where are we going to land that? It's going to kick leftish, isn't it? Let's go there. Okay. It's uphill as well. I'm going with the backspin on my six on it. So I've got 15 backspin on it. It's got to get up there. Stop, stop, stop. That'll do. That'll do. Okay, 10 foot. That's a break in a bit, isn't it? Looks like it stops up. Breaks to the left. Oh, about there, maybe. And hit it firm. Drop, drop, drop. Ah, just a bit too short. Oh, that birdie. Tiny bit too short. Miss the eagle. Eh. So five under. Four, three, five to finish. It's a par four. Seven's another split fairway, but the split doesn't really matter here because you can't quite drive the other one anyway. Um, yeah, we should just be able to play that normally. The other option is you play, like, deliberately play for the water here. Ah, let's go for it. Let's try that. 
Ah, I missed the ultra spin. It's kicked it a bit left. Oh, I've got the skip. Uh, oh, I do not like being in the water. Oh, I can probably get it out at least. Okay. So, if you're going to attempt this shot, I have two pieces of advice for you. Don't. Um, you basically got to hit it at 50%. You've got to put your flag marker on the 50 mark. Um, and pray that you don't miss it. Go on. Ah, see? Straight in the bunker. Look at the gauge closely. I'm going to have to take the approach off, otherwise it's going to be unplayable, I think. I don't know, that might get up. That might get up. I might do the 60 approach, just because I'm not sure that's going to get up. Okay. Uh, it's up, it's up, it's up, it's up. Where's that ended up? Ah, oh, six foot for a par. Sloping downhill. Oh, so it's, to the left. Where's it gonna drop? That might not be enough. Oh, just. Oh, the the warp tokens. I've got seventy four warp tokens. It's a par three. I've been spending all my coins though. I've been buying all the pointless cosmetics. Um, but you can't trade them or anything. It's not like PUBG where you can sell them on. Okay, this is a longish par three. Three iron, so checking it's quite hard work. Okay, slightly downhill. Uh, might have overhit that. That, that should be alright, should be alright, should be alright. Stop. Oof. Again, the RNG helps you. Great play. For the body. Yeah, the coin grind can be quite annoying when you're trying to buy things as well. Breaking to the right. Okay, I've really got to hit this. Maybe about there. I don't know how much that is, but let's see. Oh! <laughs> Focus. Don't leave yourselves long putts. Because you don't know. So we're still at five under. Par five. We've got a chance at six. Oh, I do like giving this a belt round the corner. I mean, again, this is so unforgiving. Look at that. From like there to there is so narrow. Ridiculous, really. Right. Oh, good shot. How's me luck? I'm gonna pitch in the rough. Keep going. Ah, uh, caught the rough too much. Caught the rough too much. Don't take your eye on the gauge. Okay. 181 with the rough to that. Oh, this could be interesting. Let's go six iron because we're gonna need the power. And we gotta hit this. Oh, that's gonna do short. Water hazard. Uh, yeah. And that's what happens when you don't hit your fairways. Okay. So it's gonna roll right when it lands. So let's maybe try and pitch it there. Let's see if we can run it. A little bit of top spin. Go on. Ah, too much pace. Focus. And that's a heck of a par putt. Looks like it slopes up. Breaking to the right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like I said, you don't want to be putting. Yeah, gem exchange system would be good. I mean, you can buy the S tickets um, for money, and they act like 10 gems at a time, uh, which is always the option. But again, it's a bit pay to play. So that was that was a bit of an average round. Oh, someone got 16 under.
Oh, second out of people who've played it in my ranking group. But I haven't played that before, so at least I've set a mark. Right, we'll play the in with nine. Let's see if we can see if we can improve. Although it'll be teeny cups and a strong wind or something, won't it? Imperial Garden in regular and normal weak wind. Okay, we'll try that. See if we can improve our putting somewhat. The other thing they could do as well is do the handout. They were giving out 10 gems a week if you logged in. Um, I assume to get more people playing. But they could give some of the gems away. <laughs> the daily ride for ranking. Yeah, I think it's just random. Particularly when you look at the um, when you do the course bonus one, you get the little notice the next day. I've sometimes played quite early in the day, and like there's only been two people who've played the course, and you come back and you might sort of roll dice for the scores they've got. But they should kind of group it by time so you've all played or you're all about to play. And then through the day, it might encourage you to come back and improve your score. But since, you know, you've played, like three people have played, there's no incentive to come and look during the day. Okay, Imperial Garden in. Okay. It's a par four. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, you don't want to outdrive yourself into the lock. Not much of a tailwind, so you don't have to worry. <sighs> Oi, stay, stay. Oof. Okay, little bit of a tailwind, little bit uphill. Good shot. Good, good. Oh, that's all right. Too much spin on it, though. That's good. Chance for a birdie. Okay. See, this is the sort of pat I like. So this is right edge firm. Our oh, oh, turf wall's lobby system's broken. I think I did a video. I, I went through six lobbies before it actually started a game. But it, it, it's quite an enjoyable mode. They just need to fix the lobby on it. Because you, you get some gems and stuff. But it's quite good fun. But I suppose they don't want you farming the gems. They want you buying them. Or buying the S tickets at least. Okay, that's going to kick right when it goes. But they should certainly look at the rate you get gems for definite. Just to, and maybe do something like if you log in on consecutive days, you build up a bonus because that would get them what they want, which is people playing the game and encourage you to keep coming back. But they should have a look at it. Okay, it's going to kick right. I don't like that bunker. Oh, there's a pitching wedge though, so there's a chance I can get it up and stop it. Okay. okay. We're going to try and knock this past. And bring it back. Come on. Great shot. It's up. Champion. Grip. Grip. Maybe not that much. Amazing. Nice. Oh, for the eagle. Okay. That's an eagle putt I can handle. So to the left. Let's just go slightly outside the right edge and firm. There we go. Nice <laughs> but I think they'll end up doing something about gems for sure. Oh, 12. It's a par four. Yeah, yeah. A uh, good point about the international tournaments as well. I think about once a month's about right for those, but they need to find something to get you 
back in in between times. Are we going to be an idiot and go for that? Bonemon, I've got to come round the tree. Guess what? We're going to be an idiot and go for it. Great shot. Oh, that's wet. That's all sorts of wet. Yeah. Ah, oh, we have another viewer in chat. Hello. Have you come to watch a bit of golf? Alright, we've got to overhit this a bit. That's alright. That's alright. Just relax. Breaking to the right. Nice car. Pretty good. To be fair, though, the, the online tournament's actually been pretty good. Like, levelling the skill out, I think, made a massive difference and gave you something to play for. Oh, part of me wants to go for that. Oh, be sensible. Learn your lesson. We'll play there. But I think they could do some sort of intermediate oh, tournament. They could play... Um, the international tournament monthly, but do something in the middle in the middle two weeks, maybe regional, something that someone in Europe might win, rather than getting smashed by the Japanese every time. Right, this is uphill into the wind. Oh, it's going to go a bit to the left, isn't it? Okay. But they could do some sort of regional oh, tournament. Get in the hole. Uh. For the buddy. <sighs> I've had a couple of those under two foot parts. Yeah, I think there was region lock, wasn't there, in the older game? But I think we're all playing in the same... Well, it knows what region you're in, but the tournament is everybody. But if you watch like the top 500, 450 are probably Japanese players. And then like you get the odd American. I think I did a little video. You scroll down, you get to a Brit at about 300 and something. Which wasn't me. Um, right, we need to miss this bunker. So maybe there. It's a three iron, so we've got to stop the thing. That's got a chance. Oh, nice shot. Great shot. Good, good. Stop, 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 stop. Ah! Chance for a birdie. Four foot pop. You got it. Nice. Oh, God, you're so So we're at five under. I've got eight under. Oh, I could do eight under. I could do eight under. Oh, fifty! It's a powerful. Ah, oh, this this hole always feels like blind luck. Although now I've got the length, I can clear that last bit there. It's a crosswind. Okay. Let's put the power shot on it. See what we can do. Yeah! Oh, good shot. Bounce, 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 bounce. Oh, that was lucky. That was a little bit lucky. Okay. It's going to lose a tiny bit of power. Oh, can we get it close? Champion! Oh, great there. Oh, that buddy. Easy now. You can do it. Nice, 
Yeah, I see, I see. Yeah, enjoy the, enjoy the NFL. I've got it on in the background. Um, who, do you, who do you follow? I kind of like the Patriots and hate the Patriots at the same time. You know, you've got to admire Belichick and Brady, but oh, they annoy me at times. Great shot. I need to stay up. Stay up. Okay, so we have the eternal dilemma of 16, which is, do you go for it? And risk ending up in a watery, deep grave. Ah, Packers fun. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the Vikings are doing good. The Vikings are doing good. Enjoy, Icy. Thanks for, thanks for participating in chat and joining us. Oh, do I go for that? Oh, I'm going to back off. I'm going to be a chicken. Oh, let's get out of there. Give ourselves a shot at it. Oh, good shot. Now, let's stick this within three foot and it'll all be worthwhile. So, I shouldn't need to go. No excuse for not getting this close. Got to read the uphill a little bit. Ah, over hit it, over hit it. Roll with it. 22 foot. Go for the birdie. <laughs> and I have nowhere to start with here. this. Where so, to the left? Yeah, thanks, Suzuki. That does break to the left. You're quite right. I don't know. Over there and gentle. Let's see what that does. Yeah. Scared of it. Just scared of it. Focus. That's still a tricky part. Sloping downhill. Gotta hit it firm. Get him. Get in. Okay, six under. We've got a chance at eight. We've got to hit this birdie. Gotta hit this birdie. It's a par three. Okay. So a bit of wind, plenty of room. A little bit uphill. Got the ultra spin. Get back. That's got a chance. I'll get close. Ah. Well, that's the eight iron, isn't it? You don't get as much spin. So we get a birdie putt. Looks like it's up. So let's go three and a bit. Three and a bit cups right. Hit it firm. And with a bit of luck, we'll get a birdie. Go on. Break, 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 break. Yeah. A birdie. Right. Par four. Last Chance at eight under. It's a par four. Again, fairway should be all right. Just get it up there. Oh, good shot. Let's see if we can get the second shot close. Oh no 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 no! Pretty much didn't want to be there. Okay, so 106 to go in the rough, and it's going to kick right. Okay, let's take it up a club. We got the backspin on it, but it won't have much effect because I was in the rough. That's all right. Considering where I was, I'll take that. It's a five foot for eight under. Let's go. Half a cup up. Hit it firm. Get in the hole. Yeah, there you go. So eight under. That's not bad. Missed a few. I mean, missed a few putts, missed a few eagle chances, but hey, you take what you can get. <laughs> Cheers, Mark. That's much more difficult than the first two. <laughs> 15 under. Yeah, I can see how you can get 15 under. I don't see how I'm going to get 15 under, though. 
Yeah, about halfway through the field. I'll take that. I'll take halfway through the field. Okay, we'll play one of the DLC courses. Um, just because, you know, a bit of a change. Um, I might play Balata, actually. Rather than Namrong Bay, because I played Namrong Bay yesterday. I was making a video. Uh, so, selection. Let's do Balata. That's two people on the course. Championship Tees Tornado Cups. Wow. So, it's going to be long, but at the end of it, you've got the, uh, the ball hoover. See if we can beat our 307 yard albatross. And remember, no putts is the best number of putts. Our record's three. There should be a trophy for that. Having a round with no putts. Maybe there's a secret trophy nobody knows about. Because no one's ever done it. Until tonight. <laughs> yeah, Mark, Namrong's quite an interesting course. There's a lot of water on it. Um, some of it deep, some of it kind of short, That um, the shallow stuff that gives you the water has a penalty. But you've really got to pick your way around it. Um, it just becomes an exercise in course management a little bit. So it's not... I suppose it is, yeah, I'd call it a difficult course, but you, you've just got to think about it as opposed to reacting to it, if you see what I mean. So you've got to sort of plan your shots out. Uh, and there's a few places you've got to bend it around some rocks and stuff that makes it makes it quite entertaining. But um, I played it with standard clubs and it was it was brutal. Um, with custom clubs, it's a bit better. So I've got a fair bit of wind on here. I've got five meters coming from the left. I'm not sure what we can do. But again, when you've got the custom clubs, you've got more choices. Whereas when you've only got the, um, the standard clubs and you're hitting 280, you've kind of got to just hit it where it goes. That's all right. You could hold that in one. It's a 20 foot. Oh, that's a tough putt. Even with the old um, tornado cups, because you've got to kind of just let it go. Get in the hole. There we go. But this is kind of your middle of the three DLCs. This is the. It's a par four. It's not hard, but the greens punish you. If you don't get close to the pin, it's absolutely brutal, this course. As you may see if I don't get close to the pin. Yeah! Hot nature! But T to green, it's not too bad. There's a few kind of watery bits and a few choices you've got to make. But you've just got to get close to the pin every time. That's the trick on this one. If you do that, you can get a decent score. But I've had a few where I've been sort of 15, 20 foot away and gone. I just can't putt it. And then Namrong Bay, it's the course that's hard, not the greens. I mean, there are a few cheeky greens on there. But by and large, it's about navigating the course but I'd love to see a tournament on it I think that'd be fantastic <laughs> make life difficult so the par 5, 522 so it's not actually that long but we'll give it a power shot anyway and we'll go right hand side because the wind's going to bring it back so we're going to go over that tree got the top spin on it See, I'm not far off those guys. Go on, keep rolling. So 126 to go. So a bit into our face and a bit of crosses. Nine iron, so it's going to catch it. Oh crap, I'm not sure what we can do. Oh, that's probably a little bit pacey. Going to need to hit and grip. Yeah, so I'm going to come back. Uh, don't let the eagle slip. I, I think that putt's going to be okay. I think I can putt that. Nice eagle. Oh, yes. 
Yeah, I, I'd agree. I think the custom clubs bit, it's a bit of a grind getting them. Um, and they make a difference, but certainly for the tournaments. It'd be interesting to see if they offered you another mode of, of kind of playing the standard tournament play, but with leveled skill. I think when you play, if you play multiplayer, you can level the skill out, set it so you've got the same skill and clubs, rather than use your character skill and clubs. Which I think is a bit, a bit fairer. Oh, that line's not quite right there. Ah, that's a hole in one. What do I know? Ah, it looked like it was going well right there. What happened there? Did it straighten up? That's the RNG. See, that was definitely going to go. That was going to go to the right, and then it... Oh, to the left, sorry. And then it straightened it back up. But I'm not going to complain. Hole in one. Although, really shouldn't count with um, with Tornado. Holes. And indeed it doesn't. Okay. Uh, this is going to be interesting. So, we've got a fair bit of wind. So, we've got to get this around the corner. Just missed it. Yeah, good shot. Oh, that's gonna hit the rough. Go on, 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 go No, 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 no. That's alright. We're not too far away. We've got a chance at this one. Just gonna hit it past. Get a bit of top spin on it. That might be a little bit. Go on, 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 go on. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mine are all all eleven um, power ups are on the power. I did have a set that were level thirteen power and about level ten control, which is actually not bad. Um, but just didn't have the length, so I recycled them and got a set of. I think the first set were twenty, the second set were about sixteen, so I recycled those. I've still got the twenties, and then I. I've got another set. So for 50 gems, you can get another set of um, of clubs. Um, and those are level 21, which is this set here. Which is my original set, recycled. But they're all power. Ah, hit a tree. Nuts. And again, the control stat. Once you've leveled your player up, um, the control stat you get from the clubs anyway... From your sorry, from your skill as opposed to from the clubs. And despite me complaining that the control on the clubs in this way is terrible, actually, when you've got power, you get close enough. It doesn't really matter. And certainly, I've never bothered with backspin on them. Because the standard backspin you get is pretty good. And, um, you know, all right, you might occasionally want a wood to backspin, but once you've learned how to do ultra spin relatively reliably, you don't really need it. Okay, so this is a nasty little spot. We might put a bit of, um, put a bit of spin on this. Okay, so let's go up right, down left. Missed it a little bit. Oh, is that going to come back enough? No, it's off the side. Mm. So that's a mistake. Yeah, they go that far because they're just pure power. I can't believe it. You can get, I think they level out at 25, so each level you can get a maximum of three levels. So in theory you could get to level 33, but I think it maxes at, at 25. Um, but you get a lot of ones and twos and stuff as you go through. And the grind's a bit, a bit dull if we're honest. They need to find a better way. Um, okay, so we can drive the green. I mean, assuming they're done in a tree. All right, there you go. This is how much backspin you get on a one wood. Assuming I hit the fairway. So it'll check. But it won't start overrun it. And you don't get anything at all if you uh, manage to stick it in the rough. But again, we'll go for the chip. Yeah. Good, good. I hit the fringe and killed it. Ah. Uh, 
That had a chance. That had a chance at another eagle. Okay. It's a 13 under. Par 5 to go. Last one. Ah, oh, this is it's the water one. So you can't quite, you know, that would be a water skip and a half, wouldn't it? So instead it challenges you to go down here. And try and cut the corner. Yeah! Oh, nice shot. That should be alright. That's better than the last time I played this course. I ended up far too far left in that little bit of rough. Made the second shot really hard. Right. So it's an approach wedge, so the wind will get it. Okay. Maybe about there. Bravo! Oh, over here. It'll come back a bit, but not enough. Oh, go on. Oh! Clearly. It wanted to. It wanted to be an albatross. I'll take the eagle. It's a 15 under. I'll take that. And you can see the difference that the cups make. Um, you know, that's championship tees. But with the custom clubs, you know, you can just knock some ridiculous shots in. Um, so it's not the length really you should be worried about. It's the, it's the cups. There we go, 94th. Someone got 20. Oh, I don't know how you get to 20. I mean, that's two albatrosses and everything else eagled. Yeah, she's going to get a hole in one on that par three, on the, both the par threes, haven't you? Wow. That's impressive. Okay, we'll play one more. We'll do the inward nine of this. Uh, and then I think I'm going to call it a night. We'll see what the... Um, the random number generator gives us for the inward nine. There you go. So you'll see the difference now. Championship tees, normal cups. So no ball hoovering this time. I'll actually have to putt for a living. Can't be disappointed. It'd be massively entertaining though if they did a qualifier with Tornado Cups. The scoring would be ridiculous. Well, what they could do is if you're um, if you score terribly in the qualifiers, they could let you use the triple impact ball um, in the final. That'd level it up a bit. So in with nine. My oh, driving's terrible tonight. What's that? Someone's got sixteen. Oh. It's a par four. Yeah, you're doing something right if you're getting 16 on this. Okay, so pin's tucked in there. Bit of wind. But we can get it up and stop it, hopefully. Oh, I missed the ultra backspin. Oh, neat shot. All about where it pitches. Don't go in that bunker. Wow. Or if you do come out the other side, there we go. Played for that. On the fairway. Look at that. See? Position A. Peter Alice would be proud of me. Okay. She's just going to kick a little bit left. And it's going to roll to the left. Let's have a go at this. Just a bit of top spin. Good, good. Go on. Oh, nearly. Nearly. And you can see the difference there. The ball hoover would have had that. Nice birdie. That's a birdie. I'll take it. And I haven't played this combination either. So we're setting a score. It's a powerful. Hold on, this is a nice straight one. The only complication are those two um those two 
bunkers there that are basically um, miss me and end up in one. Okay, so let's play with a bit of top spin because it'll check as it um, as it runs up. Oh, you win needs to grab me. Bounce. Ooh. Go on, run, 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 run. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. It'll run up. 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 Oh. Don't let the eagle slip. Oh, well, I'll take the eagle. That would have been an albatross. That would have been an albatross. Two point six foot putt. Twelve. It's a par three. Okay. So, wind's going to grab it. It's downhill. Oof. Eight iron. So, I've got a bit of backspin to use. Okay. Nope. Missed the backspin. Oh, Nietzsche. Oh, I did not read that at all, did I? That's off the right hand side. Again, let's see what we can do. It's got a chance. Go on. Yeah. Get in. Get in. That longest chip in nine yards. I suppose I've probably haven't done a chip in on this course yet. It's a par five. Right, so round the corner a bit. So let's go there. Yeah! I think for the next tournament, um, clubs for the next tournament. So they started off with a kind of a very basic set and then they gave us a bit more power because it's Canada Beach. I'd like to do something a bit weird. I'd like them to give us, you know, big air or backspin or side spin clubs or something. Kind of make it a bit more interesting rather than kind of your standard clubs. I mean, they won't give us customs, but they might give us something interesting. Mix it up a bit. Or maybe give us infinity or something really difficult. But the first one is um, is teeny cups. So they're going to make it hard. So maybe, you know. Or maybe even give us a custom ball. Let's use the backspin ball. Because you'll be wanting to get close if you're hitting teeny cups. Oh, just dropped it. But we'll see. But it's interesting. They publish a fair bit and then they don't tell you what the clubs are going to be. But we'll get that, I think, when the tournament starts. They've given you like, a little information screen. Okay, 14. Par 4. Again, that bit of water up there. Oh, you can just drive it. Oh, we're going to have a crack at this. We are going to have a crack at this. Absolutely nothing on the ball. Yeah, Just hit yeah, it. Good shot. Oh, where's that going to go? Where's that going to go? Oh, stay, 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 stay. Wet. Water. Didn't read the wind again. I had the length. Absolutely had the length. Okay. That's frustrating. There'll be a short moment silence for that. Yeah, same here, Mark. I think it'll be quite. It'll be quite good. It'll be interesting to see because it's sponsored this time. I imagine all um all the pink inflatables or the purple inflatables they had last time. I'd imagine they'll all be sponsored, and I think you get sponsored prizes. Get in the hole. That's hard work for double bogey. But I enjoyed the first two tournaments, so I'm looking forward to this one. I may even stream it. Ball 50. It's a par four. There's nothing like embarrassing yourself in real time. Especially since you can't have a second go. You've just got to do or die. Right. This is going to need a bit of side spin. Of course, this time I'll overread it. 
to the sides where they should straighten it up a bit and head straight for the bunker. Oh, that was lucky. That was lucky. Okay. Well, the wind won't take it that far. Let's go there. I'm going to try and chip and roll it. Get up there, get up there. Ah, not nearly enough power. Roll with it. Go for the birdie. Well, I'm going to call that as a straight part. I think that's that's pretty straight. Yep. A birdie. So five under. So you can see the difference not having the loot hoop, the ball hoover helps. So 16 par three. Uh, yeah. Is a par three. I remember I don't like this one. Although the wind's the right way. But it's quite close to the front edge, so we have to be careful here. Great shot! Yeah, it's all right. It's not great, but at least it's on. If you drop two yards short there, it'll um, you'll end up in the water. Okay, not too difficult the putt. So maybe, maybe a cup. Breaking to the left. Two thirds of a cup, right? With a bit of luck, it will just didn't break at all. I oh, just break at the end. Just relax. Yeah, the dramatic music for the par. Like I should be ashamed of myself. Ah, oh, that was a miss. That was a miss. So four five to finish. It's a par four. Hole seventeen again, pretty straight. You can just attack it. Okay. Got the ultra top spin. Bravo. It's all about the roll now. That's not bad. That's not bad. So, it's going to roll right. It's going to pitch right. This is going to be hard to get in because you've got so little room to work. I might have to backspin this one actually. Just try and stop it Sandy when it gets up there. There you go. Amazing. It's all right. Oh, that Gives me a birdie putt at least. Hopefully gets us to six under. Nice birdie. And then anything can happen down the last. So this is going to be the last hole for tonight. This will be the par five. It's a par five. Oh, there's that water in the way, isn't there? Yeah. So you can basically lay up. But with a tailwind, I've got to be careful I don't run out, really. Let's give it a go. Bravo. That's going to kick off the rough when it lands. Yeah. Oh, in the water. water hazard. Uh, always the risk. Always the risk. Look at the gauge. Okay, going to be able to get a birdie now, for sure. Club up a bit. This is gonna have to be good to get it close. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. So we got a chance. We got a chance. Oh, that's a difficult part. Okay. So this is it. This is for all the marbles. It's gonna break left, and I've got to be gentle with it. Go on. Go on. No, it's too low. It's too low. It's too low. I just needed a tiny bit more power. Uh, so we're going to finish on six. So that's the difference, really. It's about, it's about eight shots. I don't know. That was all right. I mean, that double bogey didn't help matters, but otherwise it was reasonably good. So that's it for the stream. Um, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like. Um, as I said, the tournament starts. I think it starts tomorrow, I think Mark said. Um, so the preliminary rounds. I may stream one night this week, um, but I'll stick a note up if I'm going to do that. Um, but I'll definitely stream the final round over the weekend for sure. Um, eight out of ten. Uh, um, so I hope you enjoyed it. As I said, if you did, please like. Um, and I'll see you next time for a bit more Everybody's Golf. Enjoy the rest of your, of your evenings. See you soon.